Hey good morning everyone my name is Vipin Kumar and in today's video we are going to learn how to manage your code in git with azure devops service let's begin first we are going to create a new git repository via ui interface or web let's begin i am on my azure devops service console select the project for which you want to create a new repository in this example demo is my project then go to repos you can see here a list of existing repository i want to create a new repository for the demo project for this you require to click and create a new repository give the name of the repository i am creating a java project repository add a readme file and add a git ignore file i am saying none and go ahead create new git repository has been created with name java project our next step is clone this repository at local machine and commit some files and folders on this git repository let's clone it at local machine for that click on clone option and you have two option for clone it one is https and second is ssh i'm using https and you can generate git credential you can create a separate account for this git repository but in my demonstration i am going to use my primary account to manage this git repository open the command prompt verify you installed git at your local machine git version i installed git version 2.19 windows version now i can clone the git repository for that first you require to navigate a folder under which you want to clone your git repository this is the location where i want to clone my git repository let's now clone the git repository copy the url once again and type the command git clone and the url press enter it is trying to connect my dev azure machine now select the account to manage your git repository as you can see here cloning process has been completed let's go ahead and check the folder you can see here readme file has been cloned from git server to my local machine let's go ahead and add the java project in this folder i have added all files and folder for the java project next we require to add all files and folders in get version control use the option git status and you can see here these are untracked files and folders and we required to add all files and folders to track them in git version control system now let's go ahead and add all the files and folders and commit in git use this command to add and commit all the files and folders in git version hyphen a means add all the files and folder hyphen m means provide the message for the commit and this is the message for this commit let's go ahead and press enter now we can check the status now you can see here nothing to commit 
working tree is clean now you require to deploy or upload all the files and folder on git server by using the option git post this command will upload all the files and folders from local repository to git server let's go ahead and press enter upload process has been completed let's verify nothing to commit working tree is clean we can verify on git server using azure devops service console let's go ahead and refresh it and you can see now all the files and folders has been synced or uploaded from my local repository to git server now let's manage the new git repository with visual studio for that let's create a new git repository for the .NET project let's add readme file and git ignore is null create okay so we have successfully created a new git repository with name net project let's open the visual studio to manage this git repository open the team explorer and manage connections connect to a project it is going to connect your azure devops services select the repository which you want to manage from visual studio in our example is dotnet project now if you see in bottom it is providing you option for cloning this repository is going to clone on this path you can select other folder also but i am okay with this location go ahead and copy the path and clone it you can see in output section also that remote repository has been cloned on the local machine let's open the local path and you can see here it successfully cloned now go back in team explorer and click on manage connections expand the demo project and select the dotnet project repository double click it now go back in team explorer again now you can see here our dotnet project repository is selected click on changes now you can see here there is three changes on our local repository go ahead and copy your dotnet project into the local git repository and come back i have copied the dotnet project in this repository go back into the visual studio click on the home page and click now changes and now you can see here it detected 49 changes on the local repository let's go ahead and make a commit on this repository provide a comments or message for this commit and make sure the option is selected commit all go ahead and press the button on commit all commit successfully created locally now we require to push or deploy this commit on git server go to home and click on sync option you can see here two option pull and push click on view summary and this is the summary for commit 
let's go ahead and push the changes on the git server click on back option and click on push command our changes are getting push or deploy on github server now you can see a message successfully push to origin and master we can verify our changes on azure devops console let's go ahead and refresh or reload the page great now you can see here all files and folders has been sync or deployed from local repository to git server repository so in this way you can manage your git repository with visual studio also now suppose that there is a requirement to update and deploy the web.config file let's go ahead and update web.config file i am updating this web.config file in notepad plus plus you can go ahead and launch the entire project in visual studio and modify from visual studio also i am just updating the comments let's go ahead and save it go back in visual studio and refresh click on changes and you can see here one changes detected in web.config file let's go ahead and commit the changes click on commit all now we require to push back this changes on git server click on sync and click on push push successfully done let's go ahead and verify the changes in the azure devops console go ahead and reload the page click on web.config file now you can see here our updated web.config file has been deployed now suppose that this updated web.config file is not working anymore for your project and now you want to roll back this web.config file from previous build let's go ahead and roll back this file from previous build go to home and click on changes go to action and check the view history now suppose that you want to revert back version 1.3 to version 1.0 go ahead and right click on version 1.3 and click on revert are you sure you want to revert back say yes now go back to team explorer go to home click on sync push the change now let's go ahead and confirm that our changes has been revert back or not with original context let's go ahead and refresh it great now you can see here our web.config file revert back or roll back with original context so you can manage your git repository with visual studio in this video that's all thanks for watching have a nice day